Hey guys, welcome to a new show. Wednesdays with Ryan. I'm going to be starting off here today. Today I'm going to be making breakfast for myself. Just some eggs in my new uh, cast iron skillet. So let's get started. I've got my cast iron skillet here. Heat it up to around medium heat. This stove's a little finicky, so it's probably around a medium high. Um, in the pan here, I just took some vegetable oil. And I just put a really thin coat all the way around it here. And uh, so when I put in the butter, that should make it, uh, that hopefully nothing will stick. <laughs> it usually does anyway. Alrighty, so my pan's hot here. Might even be too hot. I'm gonna turn down the heat it just a touch. I'm gonna take a big old wad of butter here. Oh yeah, that's way too hot. Here. Let me think to get that out of That should be fine. Nice cast iron, so I shouldn't mess with it. Season this thing myself. Just got this at a flea market. It seems pretty nice. Made in China, but what are you gonna do? Add a bit more butter in here. It's a little dry. Take a couple of eggs, crack them here on a flat surface, oh. and drop it right in there. As you can see, it instantly starts turning white on the bottom. That is a good sign. Watch your pan pretty hot, but not too hot. Another one in here. Perfect. A little hotter in the middle than it is on the outside, but pretty good. Alright, just gotta take some pepper here. Got myself some salt. Let's check that they're loosely from the pan. Oh yeah, this is working real good. Should I stick right here? Oh man, this is gonna turn out great. All right, I'm back. I think, ooh, yikes! I think these are probably about ready to flip here. This is the part that always goes wrong, so. Yeah, so good. So you just stop popping like that. There we go. Yeah, I like this cast iron pan that I got here because it's got a really smooth bottom. And uh, I just think that works better than these new large ones that have that rough, that rough bottom from factory. So that they can uh, put a seasoning on there cheaper in factory. I think the smoother the better. But those large ones, you gotta spend like sometimes up to a year to get a good layer of seasoning on there so that it, it's it's smooth. If your your seasoning is so thick that it acts like one of these, and uh, I don't have the time to do that. I just want to be able to cook with my cast iron and not have to worry about things sticking. And you can use cast iron. I <laughs> metal utensils on this cast iron. I wouldn't with the large ones because of how rough they are. You can sometimes scrape off the seasoning. I've done it before. It's not very fun. 
But with these ones, they're nice and flat, so you don't really run the risk of it scraping off any of your seasoning if you did it correctly. So, I think these are just about done here. I'm gonna pick you guys up. Alright. Eggs here. Pick them up. Put them on my paper plate. I don't feel like cleaning too much today. Alright, there we go. And there you go guys, I don't think there's a simple, simpler meal in the universe. Just crack some eggs into a pan, season them, and flip them over. But, uh, I'll let you know I like my new cast iron pan, and, uh, food turned out great. I'm gonna give it a try here. Alright, I'm just gonna give these a try. Good old bite on them. Dip it in the yolk just a tad. Mm-mm. Tastes like egg. Alright, well that's it for this video. Uh, I hope to see you next week on Wednesday. Might not. Never know, but... I think I'm gonna try and do these every Wednesday. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.